back to my channel and welcome to today's video which is um, a home bargains haul and a pound shop haul um, yeah so I went to um, the pound land and home bargains um, I'll basically just have to like see if there's a few Easter bits um, I needed like lots of cleaning things so I know there's a lot of cleaning things there and maybe a few bits for baby as well um, I can't remember so without guessing, I might as well just jump in and show you. It feels so weird, like filming a haul because it has been a long time, actually. Right, so I'm literally just in two of my reusable bags, save the planet. Um, so I'm just going to go in and pull out and it is what it is. So first I got these. Now I have bought these before. Um, I've got the yellow ones can't remember what scent they were but they're actually really good so they're in like little wrappers i think and then you take them out and you throw them down the toilet and it says drop in one tablet for 20 minutes and you don't need to do any scrubbing so i do go through a lot of these because we have three toilets in our house as well so i like to like put like a group of a few of these in each of the toilets um but i do really like them for instance it says for heavily soiled toilet bowls, use one or two tablets, leave overnight and then brush and flush. Uh, for heavily soiled ones, I don't need to do that. I just need to throw one in. I normally do it when kids are at school, Chris is at work, it's just me at home. I tend to do it then because I know no one's going to be flushing the toilet. Um, but this is in the sense... Um, eucalyptus oh eucalyptus fresh actually so i'm excited to try these out because i think that's kind of an, a big clean nice smell anyway oh yeah it smells a bit like mint <laughs> don't get confused guys and start eating them it actually smells really nice so i can't wait to use them oh then i just got these so these are for the hot tub um when it was locked down was that last year was locked down last year no you before i can't remember whenever lockdown proper lockdown was that's when i bought my hot tub um, and the kids loved going in the hot tub but then we've put it back up and we had a bit of sun a few weeks ago um and they went in and they were a bit bored they were in and out in 20 minutes and i know why it was because we didn't have like games like this which we did before when all bubbles are on it's all fizzing up and things oh wait a minute so this makes me think this is powerland well no, it's not. It's not. This is from own bargains. Yes, when all the bubbles are like fizzing up and things, um, we'd like make them guess where they spent basically. And I feel like they're only a pound as well, which is why I thought it was a pound land haul. But they are actually diving, like diving ring kind of things. So they're good just to take on holiday, swim pools and things like that as well. Then, oh, are these different. So these two are the same. So I've got two Fabulosas. Like I say, we have three bathrooms um, and two of the bathrooms are carpeted. That is not great, guys. It, we bought the house and it was carpeted. The builders had already put carpet down. Um, we are wanting the middle bathroom like fully redone and tiled and everything. Obviously, that won't be cheap. So until we get around to doing that, we've just bought some lino. Um, and we're going to lay down, pull the carpet up and lay that down because carpet in bathrooms is not hygienic. In the meantime, I've just got these, which I keep just spraying around the toilet. And we've got cats that use the litter tray, which we put in the bathroom. Um, so it's just good to have, um, keep cleaning on top of it, really. But this says no need to vacuum and it eliminates odours. Long lasting freshness. So they're both the same, just different scents. This one is One Love. But looking at this, I'm assuming it's roses. Let me spray it on my chair a bench whoa that's firmer it smells a bit like furniture polish really not a fan of flowered scented things so free spirit ah, that's a nice one this is like perfume do you know when i picked the one love up Obviously, it doesn't say it smells of roses, but the roses kind of give it away. And I'm not a flower person in terms of like 
flower smelling um, toiletries and things or cleaning things. So I might put that in the kids' bathroom and I'll put this one, the one love, uh, the free spirit, sorry, my bathroom. Oof, now I'm just getting gassed out. Oh God. Another fabulous that I got was this disinfectant spray. This is for hard and soft surfaces. So in the picture, there's a toilet, a bin, and a sofa. And this one is in the scent Fantabulosa. And do you know what, guys? I can't spray it for you because I'm actually still choking from the other two sprays. But I need to know what it smells like and tell you, so I'm gonna have to do it. I'll just do it over there instead. That's nice as well. That's almost like a perfumey smell, not a flower smell, which we love. So, oh, <clears throat> oh, I just need to open a window. Um, so I also got this carpet foam as well because, now I think these were about £1.50 each, maybe. Um, and this is a pound, I'm sure of it. But I used these before anyway. So this is the Zazouche. Carpet and upholstery, pet stain and adieu removal foam. So again, it's similar kind of things. I'm assuming dogs just peed on that picture and it's meant to get rid of the dog pee smell. I don't know if I believe that or not, but I always, I try to keep up to my carpets and constantly like put something on them. Um, also, I need to do an updated house tour to be honest, because the lounge is completely changed. You won't recognize the lounge. Uh, we've got new carpets in it as well so i'm trying to keep on top of um on top of like the nice new clean gorgeous carpet keep it kind of as fresh and clean as the cap then a few more bits from home bargains oh yeah so i've got some of these for the toilet as well so we do have the is it called no it's not duck there's a, an expensive version of this and I don't actually like it. Chris likes it and he buys them ones. But I prefer these. These are so much easier. The applicator and everything is just loads easier. And I feel like this is a pound as well. So it's a lot cheaper than the other one. I can't remember what it's called. But anyway, these are the ones that I prefer. Fresh Stripes Toilet Gel. And I chose the Scent Ocean Fresh. Lydia just needed another toothbrush. She's not happy because it's got grey heads and she said do you think i'm a boy but i don't know why she thinks gray represents boy because gray is just gray i love gray i've got gray walls gray doors gray's all right lydia what's your problem anyway so it comes with two heads so i thought that were good as well because i feel like it would maybe four or five pound but for an electric toothbrush and i think the batteries actually come with it as well i'm sure of it um so it's perfect and it's colgate then i just got this this is so cute so Oh, so cute. So Lydia's been doing some little planting. She does French after school club and they come home with a strawberry plant and a sunflower. And she's going, how do I water it? I don't want to drown it. So she's getting into like a little green fingers like a mum. But this is a water mister, a plant mister. So obviously put your water in. I think you just spray it, I'm so excited. Like I've got a few aloe vera plants as well and you know like them kind of plants which you don't want to over drink because they'll die because they're, they're like desert plants if you will. So this is perfect to not put too much water on. And just look at that for just sitting on my windowsill as well. Let me take this off because that's ruining the vibe on right there. That's so cute. I actually can't wait to use that. And I bet Lady can't wait to use it as well actually. Then just a few bits of food. If you know, you know, this is what my kids eat. If they're in a rush in the morning, they don't have time for cereal, then one, they're in trouble. But two, I would say get a breakfast bar then before you go to school. Um, home bargains tend to do it for the cheap price as do the pound land. The best price is four for a pound. So when you get eight bars, it's two pound. If you go to Asda Morrison's, it's now like two pound just for four bars. It's got some Rockies. These are always good to have in the biscuit cupboard and Rockies are about 79 pence for eight. So I find that they're the cheapest biscuits to buy. And listen guys, with these bills and energy bills going up and diesel going up and everything going up, food going up, 
we need to look for the best prices of everything that we can do. So if this means someone might prefer a Mars bar, well, that's tough now. You're going to get a Rocky bar because it's 79 pence for eight. That being said, I did get a bag of mini eggs. But this is uh, because it's for the Easter decoration. I've got like a few little Easter bits going on. Nothing major, just a few bits. Um, and I've got like, well, it'll be in, it's in my next bag. It's just like a little Easter jar. So I just wanted some mini eggs to go in the Easter jar. And that's it really for that one. Now I'll just take you through the Harlem Glam bag. So if you guys have been on my channel for a while, you'll know that Lydia used to be obsessed with those kebabs. The kebabs, um, I think you can get them from Poundland. I'm sure you could get some from Pound, some Poundland shops. Uh, but definitely like home bargains and things like that. Anyway, she's gone off them kebabs now. I think she had too many that just bought her. So the reason for them, you put them in the microwave for a minute because she, she goes to um, dancing twice a week and it's quite intense it's straight from school. But now what she's swapped onto is Domio pasta twists. But these are really handy actually. So once again, you tear your corn off and you put them in the microwave for one minute 50. Yeah, one minute 15 and you've got literally got a warm bag of pasta and then she'll like grate some cheese on top or something like that anyway. So these are brilliant for a pound each and for on the go. So I just like to keep stocked up just for all the dance lessons and classes. Um, so I've got four of those. They are honestly really good guys. Um, I just got Elliot a pot noodle as a little treat. I don't like to do pot noodles as a main meal really. Um, I've got the ba Ooh, baby, a little sponge. Now, they did have some baby sponges, but I feel like this looked softer and fluffier. Now, I could be wrong. I might, when baby's here, I might get around to opening it and I might be like, oh, no, I don't like that. But um, it seems really nice and fluffy and a luxury sponge. So, I've got these for my wooden shutters. Now, have you guys seen my wooden shutters? You must have seen them. Anyway, they're just Venetian blinds, but they're wooden and you can open up and everything, but they do need a lot of cleaning. I've been using like a feather duster and it's probably not the easiest things to do because you have to go down everyone. So I saw this in Pound Shop and I'm like, I can try that for Pound, right? Because it does three blinds at once. I just hope that you can take that off to wash afterwards. I'm sure you can, can't you? But uh, if anyone's interested, I'll let you know how that goes got baby some nappy bags so i'm trying to get prepared guys i'm 34 weeks tomorrow when this video goes out i might be 35 36 weeks i'm not sure so i need to try and get some kind of organized i just wanted these for the back of the baby's room for like a dressing gown mm. or like it's a little bath towel or i don't know but um everyone else has got them on the back of our bedroom door so i thought it's only fair we get baby stuff uh, I've got some fabric conditioner for baby as well. Um, obviously, non-bio. Now, with my others, I've got comfort non-bio, but I'm assuming this is exactly the same. It's even like got the baby there. Hug huggably soft for sensitive skin. Um, and Lydia has sensitive skin as well, so it's quite good to use on her. But it's mainly for to wash all the baby's clothes, because that's the stage that, that I am at right now, trying to get through all the baby's things and start washing everything ready for its arrival and then just two little bits left to show you guys so one is this little cute rabbit like pastel purple rabbit which is obviously for my little easter collection there but i thought it was so cute for a pound and they did have it in like yellow and like pastel green and other little cute colors as well but i just wanted a little purple one because then I've got this little jar for the mini eggs to go in. And that's obviously got a yellow, yellow like little bunny ears. So I thought these two little cute guys can go on the Easter set up. Um, that stinks. Well, obviously it's going to need washing actually, isn't it? But before the eggs go in, that needs washing. But how cute is that with the mini eggs in and sitting on there? And then it looks like a big bunny, some daffodils and cute things. And that is it guys once again um i'm sorry that i've not been uploading when i feel up to it then i'll, I'll film and i'll post 
um, if I don't feel up to it, then I'm not going to make myself poorly by trying to get a video out. I also think it shows to you guys if I'm not, if I'm not feeling myself either, it shows and I don't want, I don't ever want my channel to be a negative channel ever. I just want it to be an honest, happy, fun shopping channel, lifestyle channel, but I always want it to be like happy and fun. So if I'm not feeling happy and fun, then I just won't feel. Um, but I am gradually getting better. But as I said, baby's going to be here soon. So I'll have to see when I can film around that time as well. But uh, thank you so much for watching. And thank you so much for bearing with me as well. I really do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all the lovely messages from, um, I was going to say my last video, but I think there's another one going up before this. A few videos ago, um, a lot of people messaged me and I just want to thank you all for your kind words for that as well. I have been on Instagram a lot more, so if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'll leave that here as well. And I think that's it for today's video. Once again, thank you so, so much. Um, I hope you're all well and you're safe and I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>